Hello, Dr. Sketchinetch here again. It's me with another great video. <clears throat> so this time I've taken my uh, my interpolating scanner. I've made a new board and I've mounted it on a pan on a panel. So here's the VCA board and here's the scanner board. I've got my oscilloscope hooked up to it. I'm not actually going to use that, so I'll unplug it. And um, so this is just a temporary panel, but I've got a CV and an output and four inputs. And the four inputs are uh, four different VCOs all tuned to make a chord. So uh, I'll turn up, I'll turn the range. So I've got the the fader in the middle. I used a pot instead of a fader because of the panel. I've got the range turned down and I've got the CV turned all the way down. So if I turn up the volume, we'll hear a chord. A major chord. Now the fader has no effect because the range is turned all the way down. Now I'll turn the range up. Now if I turn the range up a lot, now the notes are separated, so since the fader's in the middle, we hear nothing, but... Now my fader was 50k, and this is 100k, so I've got the wrong resistors in there, but uh, you get the idea. If I turn the, rain, if I turn the, the, the width all the way up, it's actually all the way down. of separation. If I turn it down to a certain point in the middle here we should hear voices two and three come in. There and let's turn up the CV. Now I've got the CV set, so I've got a I've got an LFO with a with a plus or minus five volt triangle, plus or minus five volt triangle coming in, and so by adjusting the CV, I'm got I'm getting it so it's it's getting into voices one and four. We're about halfway, so they're only playing once. If I turn it up more, they'll play twice. See? And if I turn this up more... So this is, so this is pushing all the voices toward the middle of the range. So I have to turn this down to... So there's a sweet spot where they, they play uh, just once in each direction.
slightly more interesting sounding. So there you have it, interpolating scanner.